yeah, I'm mad at some of our politics today, but every now and then there comes a movie that shows me politics were always shitty, especially when it comes to Hollywood. Trumbo stars Brian Cranston as the title character, Dalton Trumbo, who at the time was one of the most sought after writers in Hollywood. Um, and he's written a lot of great movies um, like Roman Holiday, Spartacus, to name a few. But the problem with him in this movie is that he is has openly said that he is a communist, that he... His ideas were so controversial for America at the time because this was the Cold War that he and several other writers were blacklisted and forbidden to work in the industry. Like they couldn't get any jobs. So in an attempt to basically fight the system, Dalton takes a hidden name to write all these screenplays and get them distributed. And it's gotten him a couple of Oscars as this movie ultimately shows how stupid and ludicrous the blacklist was at the time. I mean, you get in trouble just for some beliefs. Like, that's... That's pretty... I'm sure glad I wasn't alive back then to witness it, but I am in the Donald Trump era, so what can you do? So this is another movie that focuses on a Hollywood figure. Um, it's a biographical movie about uh, this famous writer directed by Jay Roach. Someone who's known for comedy, Austin Powers and Meet the Parents is what Jay Roach is most known for. So how would he do a biopic like that's a little more dramatic? Pretty well, I gotta say. Um, this is a really interesting movie, um, especially if you want to learn more about like Hollywood's history during the beginning of the Cold War. It's one of these things that if you were born like sometime after the Cold War, like me. Uh, it'll make you mad at how politics were back then. I mean, obviously, I can't imagine, like, communists being scary because I was born after the Cold War. But back then, the government was so paranoid about um, anyone who said they were communists being an actual Russian spy that they had them arrested and they didn't allow them to work, especially in Hollywood. And it's very interesting to see how this one writer manages to basically fight back and show that, hey, this is absurd. As I mentioned, uh, Dalton Trumbo is played by Brian Cranston, who mostly is good. He mainly gives a really good performance, but there are points where he's very over the top. Like, he's a little too exaggerated at times. Brian Cranston's great in everything he's in, even if it's something small like Godzilla. I mean, small role, not small movie. But um, here... I think this is one of his weaker performances because there are some dramatic moments where he still like overacts with his body language and voice that just came off as distracting. But I mean, he's not bad overall. His performance is still compelling enough to where I was invested on how he managed to get work while on this blacklist and to see him grow distant from his family as he's like so focused on fighting this blacklist it's pretty compelling at times and all the actors all around in this movie do a great job you have diane lane who is the typical 1950s housewife but she still does a good job and by the end she ends up being the heart of the movie along with Elle fanning who plays trumbo's daughter she's really good you have louis ck who's very natural the one actor who is really good in the movie but feels wasted is Helen Mirren. She plays Hedda Hooper, who's a gossip columnist at the time. And basically, she's there to present the opposite side of, like, the blacklist is a good thing. It's good that these people aren't working because they're commies. That's all she does. She's supposed to be the, I guess, villain of the movie. But there's no, like, payoff with her. She's there mainly to spew political dialogue and to basically tell Dalton Trumbo that he's he's worthless. He's shit. He's not going to work anymore. But when you take everything into account, I think Trumbo is a pretty good movie. I mean, it definitely surprised me that this came from Jay Roach and this was a lot better than I thought Austin Powers Meet the Parents were. Even though those two are different movies compared to this. 
but um, it's still good. I don't think it's as great as I've heard many people say it is. And in terms of Oscar buzz, I'm worried that this might get swept under the rug, but then again, Hollywood loves movies about themselves, so this could get some attention. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what uh, kind of Oscar love this movie will get, if any. But overall, I would definitely recommend this one. So that's my review for Trumbo, and I actually have reviewed Spartacus, which was one of the movies that he wrote and was the thing that kind of broke the blacklist. So if you want to check out my review for Spartacus, I have that on my channel. But until then, leave a comment to tell me you thought of Trumbo, if you've seen it, what did you think? Like, subscribe, share me with your friends. Don't forget to check out my official website, therealmrrobinson.com. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, and Periscope. And this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.